Hey, you good fucks here. So, we have the Mutt Market Monday. Has it been a while? I don't recall. But let's talk about, uh, we're going to talk about some Subro promo, some upcoming things about the market, inflation, deflation promos, and a little tip at the end for, you know, fl some flips that I don't think has really gotten out there much. All right, the, the, well, we're going to start the Subro promo. If it's not launched already by the time this video is out, it should be soon this week. I mean, this is the biggest week for Madden in the calendar, so we're going to see it soon. Uh, it's not a matter of if, but when. Um, I'm recording on OBS, so I hope this takes. Maybe, does that work? Technical difficulties? Hopefully it does. Hopefully it records. Um, usually I record an OB, uh, not an OBS, so uh, because I got some things, some spreadsheets to show you this week. All right, so the predictor promo. We've all seen this uh, predictor promo. Happened quite a few times. So they've done it for the Man Bowl NFL predictor for the games. At Man 15, I recall, not. I don't think we had it in 16. We did the similar betting for the Super Bowl. And the the amount of bets that they had hit was a, was a pretty good amount. There was a lot of different predictor um, chances, just like there's a lot here. Uh, I, of course, didn't do them because I didn't do the solos. But... It created quite a bit of inflation. I mean, the inflation was crazy Those uh, the day those things cashed. You know, people spent like a drunk sailor on shore leave just about. Um, I mean, especially honors coming a little bit that, well, a little bit later. I think we got those coin ups on the Monday. Then honors started like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I think. And then Saturday, of course, we got Ultimate Legends. So we got a crazy week ahead of us. We'll probably get new throwbacks and flashback players, too. We got them similar time in 16 and 15. Maybe some veteran sets. We can go to those sets, take a look at them. Um, and other other sets, these, these haven't been updated as much as I'd like through the whole year. Um, where did I want to go to? Burn badges, probably. Down here. Like, these monsters. We've had three monsters for the five months of this man. And, I mean, these things are always overpriced or whatever, and... A defensive tackle is never going to be worth 30 elite badges. I guess it depends on the stats. I don't want to say evers. Um, but the signature players, the, like these have been updated a little, but the veterans are a terrible deal. Flashback players, we get new ones every week, so I don't see like a huge infusion of them. Um, but elite coaches, I think we're going to get upgraded stadiums. Maybe we'll add some stadium stuff here, some chemistry on stadiums. We got those playbooks a while back. Quick sells are trash this year. I really miss Man 16 quick sells. That was so fun. I I don't know why. I'm still pissed that they they nerfed the hell out of them. And then today, somebody said they got their 88 overall elite player back from the set. So they're speculating. Somebody on the subreddit said this uh, that maybe we'll get another set soon that has the 88s. It is nearing the end of January. So who knows? I wouldn't go that far, but who knows what EA will do for the month of February? I'm guessing we're going to focus on the uh, Super Bowl, and then on the other regular promos afterwards, you know, the uh, Trophy Mad Master set, we'll get to that in a second, Position Heroes, we'll get Ultimate Legends, All Rookie, Final Edition, Combine Warriors, and Silver Gold Tickets, Easter Promo, we talked about all that a couple weeks back on the Market Monday, we're going to focus on the, the next few promos here though, today, uh, so the Trophy Sets, Save Your Silvers and Bronze, so we got this Trophy Master, uh, Silver Master, and then uh, it was required for Ultimate Master Marcus Allen. So we're probably going to get some sort of Master set here uh, the week after the Super Bowl, or no, maybe a couple weeks after. I'm not so sure. Uh, but that would be kind of cool, because we haven't seen a Marcus Allen card yet this year. Uh, but uh, at trophy sets, they had the Silver and Bronzes. And, and here's why I'm going to, why I needed this OBS today, why I kind of said that earlier. Sets required 50 of each Gold, uh, silver and bronzes and they didn't give a ro reward player like this year's man of the month i don't think we'll get another reward player because ea said they're not gonna do uh, any more man of the month kind of guys but maybe they'll do a silver set so they gave a coin reward last year man can go back to that or you know they can always throw a curve at us so this is all just speculation about what's coming into the game this is what we do on market monday um we could do flips but we we don't do that so much um so if they bring back the bronze master sets what i went i went through mutthead and I looked up every single team and their bronze. Let me make sure you guys can see that. And their bronze and silver overalls. So I sorted by lowest bronze here first. The Lions only have six bronzes that I found. Falcons, eight. Jags. And look at and look at the Lions, how many bronzes they're going for. So, like, 
if the Lions, if it goes crazy and there's no player rewards, because a lot of the Man of the Month sets required and what player came out of the set for how high their uh, coins went. Like, you know, Dallas that last month went crazy uh, because they had Leary, who was an amazing offensive lineman. Um, so what, what I'm going to do is buy a couple of these low-priced Lions and then maybe take a look at some Falcons, Jags. I'm not going to put a ton of coin into it. But but because they're only going for like 350 coins, you know, always buy, try to buy below market value so you can always resell. But like 350 coins, 550, I mean, isn't that cheap. But if you can get like uh, 300, 400, 500, because, because there's so few lions out there. So I would I would definitely try and save your bronzes, silvers, um, especially fel- bronze, falcons, jags, packers, cowboys, vikings, like anything under 10. I mean, when you get up here, it's kind of funny. I don't know if I can show this. Yeah, there it is. Browns at the bottom has 25 Browns, which, I mean, makes complete sense. Browns and 49ers. It's amazing how, how Madden predicted how bad their team were going to be this year. And they kind of got that wrong. But, all right, Silvers. Uh, we'll sort ascending here. Cardinals, Rams. Same as always. These ones have been expensive through the year. Uh, Cardinals, Rams, Chargers. I actually had a few... So let's go to silver. We'll take a look at Cardinals and, and Rams. Are good. I don't think these would be going for a lot because the current playoff sets that are expiring are expired today. All right, so silver Rams are only going for 300 coins. All right, that's that's like a that's a, that's a good investment, I think, um, just for the potential because you can always liquidate it at 300 coins. They're, they're, these cards are worthless. I don't think they're going to stay worthless for a long term. And generally... Brings these guys up. All right. That was the Rams. Sorry. I said the Rams. Cardinals. How much are these silver Cardinals going for? 300 for these ones. So, uh, Not a bad idea to look at these things. Prep for that set. And talking about prepping for sets, the next very important set coming out, the Ultimate Legends. Ultimate Legends, I think started last year at like 98 overall, which was kind of weird because they'd always been 99 up until this point. But I, I, I'd imagine... Not Ultimate Legends. What am I talking about? Ultimate Legends did start at 98 overall, but that's not so much for the market as position heroes. Position heroes is what we need to look at. Uh, the highest overall elite at their position went up in price like crazy. So let's let's show it here. It's easier to show. I guess, let's show it on Mutthead actually um, because it's easier to show than on the market. So let's go to uh, – we'll go to positions – We'll just do wide receiver here. There's going to probably be two or maybe even three some people were speculating because Team of the Year got three wide receivers this year, and last year we had two. So we're going to go wide receiver. Um, we'll do elite, and we'll just take a look at the prices here. All right, we will we'll probably want to do the base set because last year they had the base set and road to the playoffs. So this is going to be off, off the screen there, but ultimate team base set. The highest overall, Antonio Brown still going for 75K. I can't believe that card is still going for 75K. That's crazy to me. I don't know if that's a great investment, to be honest. 75K for 90. Uh, it's just that's how rare it is. So wide receivers don't look like a good. There's going to be two of them. So Antonio Brown's going to be one set. Julio Jones or Odell. And Julio Jones will probably be in the other. So Julio Jones is probably a better investment than Antonio. But that Antonio card is so rare. Maybe try and snipe it. Uh, but like, let's do another. let's do another position. Do halfback. The thing is, halfback or quarterback. These things could be a couple months from now. We don't know when they're happening. Uh, when that's coming out. All right. So Le'Veon Bell would be a good investment here. He's the only eighty-nine halfback. So he would probably be the most rare portion of the position here, unless they do some sort of collectible thing and kind of screw us that way. They did collectibles last year, then everybody yelled at them on Twitter, and they actually ended up changing and make the collectibles not so rare. So that was great feedback we gave them. All right. So that's team heroes. We got to prep for that. Um, but then, you know, there's going to be, what, 24, 26 plus team he- – or, sorry. God, I keep screwing up tonight. Sorry, it's late. Position heroes, 26 position heroes. So, two a week, 13 weeks. So, that's going to take, like, three months to get through those. So, you might be holding a lot of these cards for a long time. But but based on uh, previous happenings, I wouldn't sell your base elites right now. Um, if anything, maybe look to to buy a little bit into them, especially these higher ones, uh, because the the position heroes had elites 
and golds, specific elites, and then golds, and then wild cards beneath it that you can put in. And wild cards, they kind of just like whatever. It's it's team based rarity for wild cards. That's why I talked about with the the uh, silvers and bronzes here. Um, these are team based rather than uh, person based. Like if they require specific silvers and bronzes, throw all this out because then we're looking at like a what is it seventy one overalls being crazy expensive for silvers. Um, but we haven't seen that for a couple Maddens here, so I don't expect anything like that. All right, so market inflation. Did I talk about that market inflation? If they ever do, I did talk about it with the um, predictor sets. I did talk about it a little bit with the predictors, but I didn't talk about it with as far as the double coin weekends. So do you guys recall double coin weekends in uh, Madden a couple weekends ago? And everybody's like, hey, what's happening with the market? So what happened with the market is... It got pretty good. Like, people do a lot of head-to-head -head when there's rewards for head-to-head. -head. And especially Double Coin Weekend, a lot of people didn't head-to-head. -head. We'll buy it 450 here. Silver Cardinal. Um, so if they do that again, look for market inflation that, through that uh, next week. And then lastly, a sec, uh, the second fifth, a mod on the Mutt subreddit, uh, pointed this out to me. It was a good tip here. Uh, but Mutt Gear jerseys. So... These are great big flips. So instead of like the small flips that we're kind of used to, like the the eight to ten k kind, or a little bit uh, around that range, um, that I've been talking about for a while, a couple Maddens now, that's kind of the range you want to snipe at. And, you know, the base elite stuff. Uh, look for mutt jerseys. So go to uniforms, quality. Let's go to elite. And a good way to filter these things. He he. This is how. This is the big tip here. How we filter for these things versus all these other crap jerseys. Dash. Dash. So this is 70K. All right, what you want to do? All right, what the? Oh, wait. Be careful. Be careful because EA lies. Do you see how that uh, chemistry flipped from, uh, what is it, some silver one to a gold chemistry? It lies. It'll do that. What, what I suggest going through a lot of these things, go through popular teams. Cowboys are really popular. Their jerseys will always, uh, let's go back to the Cowboys. Their jerseys always go for like 100K. All right, so the other day I bought one for like 70-something, and I sold it for like 99 or like 104 or something. And so these things will get posted under 100K because when people look up their jerseys, they look it up by like LP, LP, like you see that, or A, B, C, M, and they post it on that. There is a certain value to teams, and there's a certain value to these chemistries. So having these awesome chemistries, these field general chemistries, the ones that add speed, uh, cover linebacker always helps. Um, these ones, zone blocking, I think is popular. You're going to have to do a little bit more research on which ones are popular, uh, but generally those are the ones that people want. So you want to search and find ones that are kind of mispriced here. A, B, C, M, A. The two time ones aren't amazing, but these uh, dual kinds are a little bit better uh, gets. So 80000 you might be able to buy this and flip it for like 99 But it's the Bengals. I don't know about the Bengals. They're not super popular. Let's go. All right. Another popular team is Packers, 89, IB times 2. That's too bad. That's not a, not a great one. Because when people need their chemistries and they see their team, they're going to pay for it. Um, but just be wary. Don't try and hold these things long term. Because what will happen is that they might release some more Mutt Gear um, packs. Or something crazy that puts out like gives you a, a random gear. So yeah, it's not a long term investment here. Just kind of a flip here at the end. That the second fifth, like I said, put me on to. So that is it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this Market Monday. Um, I think that's everything I want to talk about. Um, all rookies. We'll get into that in a little a little later. They're gonna. Last year there was an all rookie final set. Um, I don't know. We'll have to see what that program launches and if there's gonna be a, a master set for anything else to make coins off of it. But all right. Thanks for watching. Call to action. I will see you tomorrow.